Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Raw Deal Commentary. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm just here to do a post-launch final shape check-in. I still have not bought the DLC, and after what I've experienced in just a few matches, I feel validated in having dropped this game in favor of X Defiant. I would say Bungie dropped the ball with PvP again, but Crucible is so consistently unenjoyable that I've come to believe the provided experience is exactly what they intended to be. I dropped over 30 kills in this game running double primary without even breaking a sweat, and had no desire to play any further after that. This new special ammo system is not it. I prefer the previous transmat system to whatever the hell this one ammo on spawn bullshit is supposed to be. Special ammo is supposed to be used in special situations, but now we have a bunch of brain dead morons running around manning their special weapon, happy to trade, die, spawn more special ammo and do it all over again. Not even surprised at this point. The game is clearly marketed and designed to take advantage of the mentally ill. I guess it's my fault for expecting the community at large to be capable of learning from their mistakes. Hunters like you blaze a path for the rest of us. As a PvP enjoyer, I warned you all that the final shape was gonna suck. The three new Crucible maps were just bait. Happens every time they want to boost numbers and secure pre-orders. They pretend to be listening for a little while, and then go back to doing the bare minimum. This game is designed around wasting your time and forcing you to participate in activities that are not fun for the sake of the few imbeciles dumb enough to spend money in the Eververse. This is live service gaming in 2024. If you're not willing to open your wallet, you'll pay with your time. Free to play players are just plankton for the whales. That's why mechanical skill is undervalued in this game, even shunned at times by the anti-get good crowd. I can only imagine how bad it feels to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on in-game cosmetics and emotes, just to get shit on by a player like me, who regularly touches grass and still has enough thumb skill to outgun an entire lobby by myself. First day back after not playing this game for weeks, and it's still the same old same old. Wasn't the final shape supposed to shake things up? Was I wrong in assuming that the community feedback on the lackluster seasonal model was being taken seriously? With you in the field, no enemy can hide from us, Hunter. What are these episodic releases doing differently from the seasonal content model? What type of player is happy they pre-ordered three episodes of time-gated mediocrity, but still don't have access to earn all the items in the game? Bungie's out here farming his lower player base like I farm scrubs in the Crucible. Lightfall was the last straw for me. I should have known better once I saw these clowns with blue hair leading the charge. Legacy Bungie hasn't existed for quite some time. Strand was the one thing that kept me interested last year, but Prismatic just looks like free ability spam to me. As a primary weapon enjoyer, that subclass doesn't appeal to me, and as you can see from the gameplay here, I clearly don't need it. I might play some Iron Banner this week just to test out a few more things, but for the most part, I'm glad to be done with Destiny 2. It was fun while it lasted, but corporate is clearly just milking the player base to fund other projects. I'm playing PS3 games right now, with story and gameplay experiences better than the slot they're selling at the moment. PvP was the only thing I kept coming back for, but I'm clearly in the minority, so it's time to move on. I've got better things to do than grind a live service that doesn't respect player investment. This is the part where I would normally field some opinions and ask you what your feelings are and whether or not you're enjoying the final shape. But to be completely honest with you, I don't give a shit. Real ones know what the deal is. The rest of you window lickers can continue getting farmed. I'm out. Zone B, Captain. Zone advantage is yours. Five minutes remaining. A strong start. 
Fight on! Enemy has advantage. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Together as one. I love it. two for one. Zone advantage. Finish them for three minutes. You're winning. Stay strong. They have advantage. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Zone B lost. That's why we have fire team. Shut the enemy down. Zones controlled. Targets eliminated. Nice work. 